Hi, this is Miss Andrea, and I'm here at Invention Convention in the Inventors Workshop, and I'm going to show you how to make your own mechanical toy today. And this is being funded by Chevron. So thank you, Chevron. Uh, this is the mechanical toy that I'm going to show you how to make today. Uh, when we talk about mechanics, we talk about moving parts, right? And so it's a little go-kart and I have created some linkages so that when the wheels turn, the legs go up and down. So this is our mechanical toy today. And it's made with really basic stuff. Um, this one's made with some popsicle sticks and some wheels I had on hand. But I'm going to show you how to make one out of stuff that you probably have at home. So this is the, the version with stuff that you probably have at home. And you see it's not much different. It's a little bit wonkier because I made my own wheels out of, uh, out of the tops of uh, water uh, gallons. And so really it's uh, pretty simple. I'm not going to go through the whole process of making it. I'm going to go over the parts you're going to have trouble with. So the, the parts that you're going to have trouble with is really the linkages. Because if, you, um, if your wire is too hard to work with or it's, this is not, uh, there's stuff sticking out that gets caught on or you don't have a good loop, then you'll have a problem. So I'm going to concentrate on the mechanics of it. But I'll show you what I did. So in order to make the body, I just took a piece of cardboard. And what you want to do is make sure that your wheels have clearance. And you want to make sure that the outside, and at least for the part that you're going to be putting the little nail in, um, has this side and not the one that's indented in. So I would go and measure whatever wheels you have to make sure you have clearance so it doesn't hit, it's not hitting on the sides. And then I would go ahead and make your um, cuts in there. And what I did with mine to make it stronger is I made two of them and I glued them together. And then I made one little strip at the bottom and kind of just reinforced that middle part. So whatever wheels that you use, you're going to use um, that size to determine where your cuts go. Then once you have that, what you're going to do is take some straw, and it doesn't matter, whatever size straw you have is fine. And you are going to um, cut it down so that uh, you can glue it on. And remember when you're gluing this, where your wheels are going to be. If you glue it too far back, your wheels could be hitting. So make sure that you're checking where you're going to put those wheels before you put them down. Then what I did was, these are really, really cheap bamboo skewers that you can get at um, most stores. And I cut those down to make my axles. And so those I'm going to put inside. And you can use scissors, I use it all for mine. Most of these type of, um, most of these type of plastic bottle tops have a little indentation here in the middle. And that will tell you where you need to make your hole. You, you want to be careful not to go too far off the, from the middle because then you will go wonk, wonk, wonk. You know, it's not good. So you can take an awl or you can take your scissors and you can make your holes in there. And then you should be able to put in your, and if you can't, just keep on moving it through there until it's big enough. Now you don't want to make it too big because you don't want it to be loose. And then once you have it in there, you're going to take a little bit of glue and you're going to put glue on the outside of it. Once you have one in, you put it through the straw, which is already glued on, and then you put your other one in and you're pretty much set. So you'll do that on both sides and that will take care of your car part. The part that you might have trouble with is with the linkages. So I'm going to show you on that. Um, before I glued this little body on, I created the little linkages here and you'll notice that one is at the bottom and one is at the top. Because in order for the legs to go up and down, there has to, they can't be on the same side, right? Otherwise, you're just doing this and that just looks weird. So um, what I did was I, I went through and I put my little nail through. And the thing with the nail is that, uh, and also with the axle, that it kind of gets a little bit loose. And so I cut a piece of cardboard and I placed it in there and all it did was just like make it stronger and so that it doesn't move around. So I put a little piece of cardboard in, I made a hole and then I was able to put my nail and my axle in there without any problem. So once you have this in, um, you'll, you'll do them on opposite sides. Once you have those in, I would go ahead and do the legs. So here's where you're going to have, if you have to be really careful with this. Take your wire and make a little loop on the end 
that is small enough that it won't come off of the, of the bread. And then once you have that down here, then you're going to bend this and figure out where the body goes. So once you have the body, um, you're able to put another nail in there. And I just turned my cork to the side like this and pushed it in. So one of the linkages is, or one of the wires ends is going to go in here and the other one to the leg. In order to keep that wire straight, I put a piece of straw in there. So you want to cut a piece of straw that will fit in there and will allow your, um, your stuff to move freely. And then you don't really need it, but I put in a kneecap. So I just thought it looked nicer. So you put a little kneecap in, you've got this attached now, and then you'll put another straw. And that gives your leg, and this is bendable enough so that when it goes up and down, it's able to uh, do that without getting stuck. When you're attaching to the body, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna have that little piece of straw in there what I would do to make it easier, it's really hard to make that little loop around there. I would do the little loop ahead of time and just big enough to put the head of the nail in there so it doesn't come off. And then once it's on there, then tighten it up. You can either tighten it up by hand or you can get some pliers and you can do it with the pliers. So now you've got this top part, you've got your kneecap, you got the bottom part, and this one is attached to that, that wheel. So the way that it works is that it has to be free moving. It cannot be tight on there. And the other thing is when you put your axle in, you wanna make sure it's not sticking out. Because if it does, then it will affect the movement of the leg, right? The leg is moving up and down, but if, that, if this sticks out, it's gonna get stuck on it. And then you're gonna have problems. So, you want to make sure that it runs free, which is why I use the smaller wheels in the front. Use the bigger wheels, you might be able to get away with it, um, but it causes you a little bit more problem. Uh, I think that you can do it if you use something that's wider than what I used, the cork. But even with the cork, the legs would just have to come out a little bit further. And, and actually, there's a lot of give here. Um, normally, I would take a little piece of cardboard or something, and I would stop the wheels from coming out of there. And then when I did my cork body, I decided to put a little sister on there. So for my cork body, I just, um, I didn't decorate it. I didn't paint it, but you could paint it. You can put you know, clothes on it, you can put hair on it. I really wanted to do some little braids that went out, like stuck out, but I didn't have time. Uh, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with that. I kind of like it the way it is, so I left it that way. What I did with mine is I, I glued the little sister on after I put her her feet on. So I just put glue, stuck my um, straw on there, and I kind of put one in front of the other so it looks like her little legs back. And then once I had the legs, I went and attached it with glue to the older sister. And then I just put a straw holding on. And for the older one, I did a straw with a bead. I put the straw in the bead and then I glued it on. You can, you can do whatever you'd like. That's how I did mine. Um, really simple stuff, straws, cardboard, bottle tops, all of this stuff is stuff that you can find at home. And what I really like about it is that if you understand how this works and you can make that work, that this one also has to spin freely because if it doesn't, um, the, the leg will get stuck, right? So what is happening with that little loop is that it's just going around that, that nail. So as the nail goes down, it just loops. And this is really nice. The thing I like about it is that you could do anything if you understand how that works and you can get it to work. You could even make, um, I started to make a Pegasus. You know what a Pegasus is? The horse with the wings? Yes, you could do that. I started to make this one. I could see having the horse and the wings out here and attaching them to that wheel. So every time the wheel turns, the wings go up and down and up and down. Might be something you want to try. You can do all kinds of stuff with this once you understand how that works. You could do butterflies or birds or other type of stuff. I, I like a challenge. This was a challenge for me, <laughs> but it came out. I liked it. I, I like the way it came out. So I challenge you 
um, to try to make this at home too. And I did, if you want to try to make this one, the only difference between this one and that one is really that I used some popsicle sticks. I used a jumbo popsicle stick, some mini sticks, um, and then I, I reinforced it with some cut pieces at the bottom. And so th that's one of the differences. And then the other is I didn't use a nail down here. I did use it up here, um, but I didn't use it down here. I used a piece of wood and I cut a piece of wood off and I glued it on. And then I put a piece of cardboard here to keep it from sliding over. So with this one, it's not a nail, but you could see the main thing is to have something that the um, wire can go around and have something so that it doesn't come off and you can make all kinds of cool stuff. So I hope you try this project. It's a lot of fun. And if you do it, you start to understand mechanics a little bit more. You could do all kinds of cool stuff. You could even make some and sell them or I don't know. <laughs> I would try it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the project. Um, this is Engineering a Mechanical Toy. And I hope you have a good spring break. This is Ms. Andrea signing off.